I want to convince you that you must learn to make every act count, since you're only going to be here for a short while. In fact, too short for witnessing all the marvels of it. I insisted that to be bored with the world or to be at odds with it was the human condition. So change it. If you don't respond to the challenge, you're as good as dead. He dared me to name an issue, an item in my life that had engaged all my thoughts. I said art. I had always wanted to be an artist and for years I had tried my hand at that. I still had the painful memory of my failure. You have never taken the responsibility of being in this unfathomable world. Therefore, you are never an artist, and perhaps you'll never be a hunter. This is my best, Don Juan. No, you do not know what your best is. I'm doing all I can. You're wrong again. You can do better. There is one simple thing wrong with you. You think you have plenty of time. Plenty of time for what, Don Juan? You think your life is going to last forever. No, no, I don't. Then if you don't think your life is going to last forever, what are you waiting for? Why the hesitation to change? Has it ever occurred to you, Don Juan, that I may not want to change? Yes, it has occurred to me. I did not want to change either, just like you. However, I did not like my life. I was tired of it, just like you. Now, I don't have enough of it. I asserted that his insistence about changing my way of life was frightening and arbitrary. I said that I really agreed with him at a certain level. You have no time for this display, you fool. This, whatever you're doing now, may be your last act on earth. It may very well be your last battle. There is no power which could guarantee that you're going to live one more minute. I know that, I said with contained anger. No, you don't. If you knew that, you would be a hunter. I contended that I was aware of my impending death, but it was useless to talk or think about it, since I could do nothing to avoid it. Don Juan laughed and said I was like a comedian going mechanically through a routine. If this were your last battle on Earth, I would say you're an idiot. You're wasting your last act on Earth in some stupid mood. We were quiet for a moment. My thoughts ran rampant. He was right, of course. You have no time, my friend. No time. None of us have time. I agree, Don Juan. But don't just agree with me. You must, instead of agreeing so easily, act upon it. Take the challenge. Change. Just like that? That's right. The change I'm talking about never takes place by degrees. It happens suddenly. And you're not preparing yourself for that sudden act that will bring a total change. I have just said that change comes suddenly and unexpectedly, and so does death. What do you think we can do about it? To live as happily as possible, I said. Right, but do you know anyone who lives happily? My first impulse was to say yes. I thought I could use a number of people I knew as examples. On second thought, however, I knew my effort would only be an empty attempt at exonerating myself. No, I said, I really don't. I do. There are some people who are very careful about the nature of their acts. Their happiness is to act with the full knowledge that they don't have time. Therefore, their acts have a peculiar power, especially when the person acting knows that those acts are his last battle. There is a strange consuming happiness in acting with the full knowledge that whatever one is doing may very well be one's last act on earth. I recommend you reconsider your life and bring your acts into that light. I admitted that I was afraid of thinking I was going to die and accused him of causing great apprehension in me with his constant talk and concern about death. But we're all going to die. I don't want to think about it, Don Juan. Why not? It's meaningless. If it's out there waiting for me, why should I worry about it? I didn't say you have to worry about it. What am I supposed to do then? Use it. Focus your attention on the link between you and your death without remorse or sadness or worrying. Focus your attention on the fact you don't have enough time and let your acts flow accordingly. Let each of your acts be your last battle on earth. 